So I got back in the game in 2012 because 2012 was the 25th anniversary of my very first album that I dropped, The Phenomenon. All you non-believers, it's about to go down like a plane crash. Got back in the game in 2012, running it deep, raising hell. Drop album after album, a hit machine. Doing Holy Ghost dances in my dreams. First came the O to the end to the E, but that was in 213. My greatest hits got me a buzz. Everyone tripping on me versus cuz. Got this by Ray and even Striz. That just made me get busy. Losing my religion, next on deck Gained a little but not enough respect Classic songs they couldn't avoid Blew them away with my trapezoid My hip hop crap not yet detected My ex was fully was fully perfected So in 2012 I also dropped a, a double album Of the combination of the phenomenon and that nigga Ken's that was remastered with uh, bonus tracks added to each album. Later on that year, I would drop that nigga Ken's remix. In the process of dropping that album, I did not like how it sounded and therefore only dropped the instrumental version of that nigga Ken's remix and actually decided to snatch it off the market altogether. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that took the time to purchase my CD. And if you didn't purchase the CD, you still have it. Well, you definitely should be thanking me. This is my clean cut and dapper music sampler. Let the show begin. If you wanna chill with me, you've got to pay to play. If you wanna chill with me, you've got to pay to play. If you wanna chill with me, you've got to pay to play. Chill with me, you got to pay to play. If you want to chill with me, you got to pay to play. B to B, B to B, B to B, B to B. If you want to chill with me, you got to pay to play. Unless I just showed you love. And do you want for free? 2013 comes along and I'm ready to drop another album, O-N-E. This is a unfinished album from back in the day. I would end up dropping O-N-E as a double album strictly by mistake. I was allowing a different production team out of Street Corner Music, shout out to Street Corner, and they were doing the mix down and the production on it for me. They were behind schedule and was not going to be able to have it to me on time for my scheduled release date. So I put together, I personally put together my O-N-E limited edition love EP. This love EP was just to be a stand in because I had to release something on a release date because it's what I promised my audience. Needless to say, O-N-E did very well. It was the first one that I not only sold all the limited edition 10 copies because I only plan to sell 10 copies but it was requested so much that I actually made over a hundred and something dollars on that EP in the first week 
And I thought, hmm, we got something here. So when the rest of the album was finally done, I was like, I guess I got to make this into a double album now. Because now I got 22 tracks, which is what I did. I made it into a double album. But again, most of those tracks were older, my older songs that I never got a chance to put out. And I wanted an opportunity to get those out the way. Hashtag Kins. All round the beats. Live and unplugged. It feels so good whenever you're near. Emotions so strong, I might shed a tear To hold you in my arms and squeeze so tight To love you every day and especially night A love so complete is not passe Saying that I love you is so cliche We've heard that before, hmm, let me think In common coded kisses, cause it was me Wrapped in a bed of chocolate, a candy kiss The only one I love, the only one I miss God bless me with you my loving angel tripped and fell into your heart while I got tangled. A spider web of love that's so amazing. Deeper than a white castle when I get that craving. For the body of a queen under moonlit beams. Your touch means so much, cause you're making me scream. If loving you is wrong, I don't wanna be right. I plead guilty to the charge, sentence me to life. Given all I got from beginning to end, there's a man who loves you. Well, come on. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I plead guilty to the charge, it just me to life. Given all I got from beginning to end, there's a man who loves you. The way that you love does nothing but spoil me. On the same level as Christian royalty, a bond unbroken, a love so dear. A passionate desire whenever you're near. The greatest love story to ever be told. With blessings from Jesus that warms my soul. Hear no speak, no evil with you. Blind to the wicked ways from a love so true. Shining like the North Star to guide me home. Sitting next to a queen on a royal throne. Your love is the heavens, so let me in. Baptized in your beauty with the booty of sin. Treasure chest of gold, love out of control. Across the veins of the heavens is where I love flows through the vastness of space. And the look on your face as I go down below <laughs> and give me a taste. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I plead guilty to the charge. Sent us me to life Given all I got from beginning to end There's a man who loves you Well come on If loving you is wrong I don't want to be right I plead guilty to the charge Sent us me to life Given all I got from beginning to end There's a man who loves you Needless to say, the O.N.E. double album did not do very well because the EP outshined it. Also in 2013, I decided to drop a greatest hits. Since I was going to put all the old material in the past, I was like, well, let me go ahead and drop my first greatest hits. My greatest hits had a little hood controversy because of a diss track that I had on there. My greatest hits was, of course, 17 of all the better songs that I had made up until that point. And this particular diss track was one of those better songs. So this diss track that the person was about, I went to this person and I personally asked them would they be okay with the fact of me re-releasing this diss track. Their words were, man, don't nobody like your stuff. Ain't nobody going to listen to you. I don't care what you do. Go ahead, do it whatever you want. Nobody going to listen to you. So... 
when I release the greatest hits as one of my the previous guys who I told you about that I tried to work with in the past, he heard it. He personally made sure it go, as he put it, hood viral. He made sure he let as many people as possible hear this diss track. That started a new controversy. Trying to be a peacekeeper, even though I asked the gentleman in question, for his permission to drop this track that he willingly gave me, I decided to gift him so that we could keep the beef that we had continue to be squashed. He accepted in good faith, I gave in good faith, and I thought the beef was over. The beef isn't over because now he really wants me dead to this day. Nigga. If you think you can beat me, the nigga, bring it on. The nigga that wanna defeat me, the nigga, bring it on. Which is why I talk about the hostility in some of my later songs. That goes on with me in my own hood, on my own block. Come 2014, I'm in a transition period, and I'm trying to decide where am I going to go from here. So I decide in the process, to, since the music is selling good, to drop the double album, The Best Of, Hashtag Cans, Volume 1 and 2. Volume 1, the hardcore tracks, and Volume 2, the love songs. Come 2015 is where you don't have a release from me. 2015, I was working on the project that I was going to name Orgasmic. It was supposed to be my ninth album, and it was going to be another partial new, partial old material album. But I started listening to the scuttlebutt, and I was like, Ken, they right. You know, you outdated. And if you're going to do this, you need to challenge yourself to do something new. I'm writing all 2015. And as a matter of fact, I'm so anxious that I go back to the old school of grabbing a couple of hot beats that was already on the radio get their instrumentals, and rock over them. I dropped a single in 2015, and I started selling for the first time since the beginning of my music. I started selling singles again. 